recording yes. yet? Oh, no, you are recording. Never mind. <laughs> but I can edit anything out. It's so easy. So did you have to say anything? Disclosure-y? Did you have to, there we did go. You have to bury your soul or anything? What was that? Did you want to tell me something? I can turn it off. Well, no, I, I, I was just... Uh... Just wondering what I was going to say. I mean, oh. well, I haven't asked you anything yet, so you don't even have to contemplate. You're so cute. Don't be nervous, Jeanette. It's just me. <laughs> you are adorable. Just like Karen Campbell. Yo, stop it. You know me so well by now. There should be none of I that do. whatsoever. I love you to pieces. I love, I love you. you to pieces. I know. And that's. That is why I hired you. I hired you for your big, gigantic heart and your energy to help people and your willingness and your want to help people just out of the good in your heart with not expecting anything in return. And I told you that the very first day we ever had our first Zoom call and it remains true to this day. I just think you're a wonderful person. I think you're an amazing artist and I think you have your personality Matt, with uh, combined with your artistic talents make you a humongous asset and extra magical on our magical team at awesome art school so i wanted everyone to get the chance to actually get to know you a little bit so that's i never well, i never thought that i'd be the one helping other people and it's such a nice thing because i remember feeling so grateful to people who had way more experience than I did, just giving me a tip like, hey, if you put a little bit of a line here or a little more shadow or darken it or something, it's gonna help. And doing that, all those little tidbits yeah. changed everything. Actually, what changed everything was you. <laughs> no, no, girl. I'm not gonna lie. I, I began my journey searching for a way to express my feelings in a more positive way. Because frankly, I used to just shove it all down and <laughs> swallow yeah. it. That wasn't being very productive. Well, Not it's hard. me in any way. You know? Um, and I stumbled on a video on art journal. I said, I can't draw. I don't do I've never drawn. I don't know how to do anything. And yet it called to me. And I kept, and YouTube kept throwing it on my feed. And um, I ended up in different groups in the beginning. And then but I wasn't really learning anything. And that was frustrating me because I really did want to get better. I wanted... I wanted to draw a face that looked like a face <laughs> or or a cat that looked better than the circle triangles on the top with the with the little whiskers sticking out, you know, because that yeah, was yeah. About what level I felt I was at. And and I stumbled on you on YouTube thanks to the algorithm. Thank you YouTube gods. <laughs> <laughs> and you shocked me by being so generous and actually freaking teaching something to people not behind a paywall. And heck, I was on a budget. I couldn't afford any classes. And I felt like I could learn. Holy crap. And yes, I knew that if I took classes, I would get better faster. So eventually, yeah, I, I did go down that road. But in the beginning, I wasn't even sure if this was going to be something I wanted, really wanted. And it's six years, five and a half years later, it still is, you know? Oh my God. That blows my mind, Jeanette. You are, you, I think you that you're exceptional. I think you're, I think every art journal page that you show like blows my mind. So to me, the fact that like you just haven't always been doing this is, Mm -mm. such a surprise. And I didn't know that until, you know, after we had met, I just assumed that you walked in here, like knowing all the things that you do. So I just think that's a testament to how met, how much learning, you know, you put your, you put your, you know, learning hat on and you went and you went for it. Right. And you, this is like, after you have grown seven children, this isn't like, 
most, and I, the reason I'm bringing this up is because it's what I find, because I'm a little bit like you, like I didn't, I like kind of bonked into the art world. I didn't, I didn't, like, I didn't even want, it wasn't even on my radar forever and ever. So we're very similar in that way. Um, but most most people, you know, will say like, well, I've been artsy all my life and I was born with a pencil in my hand. And like, that's like the normal response that I get. So I love that it's not the same for you because I'm the same too, where like I was not born with a pencil in my hand. And it just is a testament to anyone that like- Oops, you froze. Oh, I did. Oh, I'm okay Oops. on my end. Oh, I don't, I'm okay on my end. So I don't know. Maybe it's that you're I'm okay now. Connection. Okay. No, it was, I, I, it was, have bias. I should be fine. Yeah. It was seamless. Um, maybe it was a snow on a transmitter somewhere, but um, it was on, it was uninterrupted on my end. But um, yeah, I just think people need to know like from both of us, like, Hey, you can start at, like today and yeah. You know, catapult yeah. yourself into art awesomeness like pretty darn quick. You just have to watch some videos and get going and amazing things will happen to you, you know? Like, but not only just I, your art, but I mean, well I we have to talk about two things. One is what do you think doing all that art and learning did for your art itself? But also I want to hear about what it did for your inside reasons, right? Like, you know, you were saying you were wow. looking for a way to express yourself and like, did that help? And how, how did also getting good help with helping to express, be able to express yourself? Cause those are, you know, those are, they're two separate things, but then when they come together, it's pretty powerful. I've always been, the one thing that I felt good about self-esteem wise growing up was that I was an excellent student. Like I could learn things off the I, I could learn things off the bat. I loved learning stuff. Yeah. If it caught awesome. my interest, I was on fire, you know? Yeah. yeah. And um, there's so much to learn on art that I don't think I, I could live to 127 and 8. I am not going to learn everything at all. And I love that because every day is something new. I can try a new technique. I could try a new color combo. I could heck throw paint on the wall with a spatula and and have something cool happen yes know? i totally agree yes 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 and it's the fun and that novelty and the excitement and just freaking plain joy i was yes. missing joy i mean i'm not saying my kids didn't give me joy i love my children to death yeah but somewhere along the line of raising all seven of them i lost me Amen. Sister. I didn't know who I was anymore. All I was was this one's mom. And that was okay. I was proud to be that person. Mm -hmm. But a part of me felt empty. You know? Like, there's got to be more. You know what I mean? There's got to be something more. And I'm proud of the job I've done with them. I'm proud of who they are and the fact that they get along and they love each other and they mostly talk to each other even without me. Yeah, that's amazing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a testament oh. to your family relationships. It's so so great. So cool. I mean, they're they're fun kids. They are definitely a riot. A lot of them have inherited my sarcastic wit, which doesn't always sit well with my husband, but <laughs> too bad. What are the ages of your kids now for everybody? Okay. Most of them are practically grown. My oldest is 33 and my youngest is 17. Okay, but look at you. How in God's name do you have a 33-year-old Jeanette? That's bananas. That's bananas. Look at you. Uh, You're like, you have your whole life ahead of you. You're I you do, are, I do, I do. You are a spring chicken. I mean, for sure. And and no, no kidding, you felt like you're you were just someone's mom. I mean, I only have three kids, and I, I think some people feel like that with one kid. So I can only imagine the magnifying glass that having that many more has to you because you just yeah. You're, you're responsible you're a, for all the minutia. Yes. You're a slave. And the unseen to, labor. To, yes, to seven masters. The unseen <laughs> labor of who has to do what, when, where, how, and you're responsible for all this info. Yeah, it's exhausting. And, I don't know and how. It, and things would fall by the wayside. No ifs, ands, or buts. 
for sure. Mount Washmore was a thing at my house. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. You know, I mean, laundry I was my nemesis. Yes. Um, yeah. But um, for me, the art, figuring out how to draw, what looked good together, what what I wanted to draw and how, because. I don't think I can pigeonhole myself. I am not either a realistic draw drawer or a whimsical drawer or an illustrator. I'm all of these things because I refuse to just be one of those things. Why do I have to? Yeah. Why do I it. have to? Right. I so totally I do agree. all of it. I do all of it. And I know you don't love colored pencils, but I do. And well, that's why I love, I love you. Them in. Yeah. Well, then, because then you could be the expert on it. I'm like, that's fantastic. <laughs> you go. I love mixing them in with everything. They just seem to work well. And um, it's exciting. It's just a lot of fun um, to create things. Background people. Um, it's I wanted to dump all the negative feelings I was having, both about my self-esteem. I dealt with depression and anxiety for a very long time. Uh, finally, with the combination of art and good medication, I am smiling again on a regular yeah. basis. You yeah, know, um, I find joy. And the relationships I found within the Facebook group were an unexpected bonus that I didn't know I needed. Like, who the heck you know, knew that you needed this tribe of people behind you to bolster you up mm -hmm. and actually just find friends again when you're a grown up? You know how hard it is to find a friend who gets you? I, I know. I know. I don't have a single real life friend who does art. Like, who draws? Like, who sits down and draws? Like, oh, sorry, I'm drawing right now. Like, that's not even a thing. That's, like, super weird. <laughs> if I was doing it, I wasn't going to tell anybody about it. I was like, you know, it's my weird secret passion. So I hear you. Yeah, the community is, it is a... Uh, you've, we don't... you've created something special there because I think that your personality puts out so much goodness and kindness towards other people that you get it reciprocated back. That you seem to draw into this community, people like you, people who care, who have empathy, who don't wanna be mean and don't wanna be a troll and don't wanna sabotage someone by stepping on them to make themselves look better. That's not anywhere found there. Yeah, I would, I would literally. Just would, kind. Because I would kick their asses. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I have no tolerance. You let her do it too. <laughs> assholes are not allowed. Not allowed. Life is too short. They are not allowed in our space. Absolutely. Absolutely. Life is way too short. It is I way know too that short. For sure. Yeah. Losing my sister this year. My second sister in two and a half years has yeah. been a lot to deal with. And it just reinforced, neither of them was even over 62, not a one. That's young as hell. Oh, yeah. You know? No. Yeah. And, and has art helped you with that? How do you, how does art help you process those? I can't even imagine. First of all, I am so beyond deeply sorry for your loss. I can't, I cannot put I myself in your I shoes. Really, I really do appreciate that. And what's helped me is being able to name my feelings. Heck, to draw a girl with sad eyes who still has a smile on her face but who sees you, mm. you know, um, I think a little bit of me is in every paper in yeah. every painting I do a little yeah. bit of me sneaks in without a doubt. Yeah. Um, my mood, uh, 
something funny that happened that day or mm -hmm. a comment someone made to me will inspire something. And having that ability to just with and without references, be able to put it down is transformative. And I can, I, I can imagine how transformative that is for you. And I also have to say as a viewer, it, and this is why I say like your art knocks my socks off every single time. It is completely, you know, but like, it's completely like a over, I don't even know what the words are like over the, it's over my head. It's, it's next level because your compositions are yours. Your girls are yours. They all have emotion. You have full figures. It's full page. Like it's just 10 degrees beyond what anyone else, including myself times 10 is doing. It's just next level. And I look and it's sophisticated and it's complex and it's, you know, rich and it's gorgeous. I mean, I could like go on and on and on every time you post, like it's unlike anything else you'll see in the whole entire Facebook group. And it I'm really, so flattered. it's just, and I'm not blowing sunshine up your ass. Like that is what no. I see. Like I see yours and I'm like, that is Jeanette. And I can, I can like feel the emotions that you're processing. And it's just, it's just a whole, it's next level, my friend. Like it is next level. So I, I, I think that doing art is so transformative for so many of us and to be able to, you know, it's so, it's so complex too, right? It's like just the act of creating can be just getting in a flow state can kind of distract you from your pain. Right. But you, and I think that you experience that or you wouldn't do it. That's the joy you're talking to, but you also have an ability to put on your paper. In addition to that, also reflect what you're feeling, which nobody really does. I definitely don't. Most people don't do that. And that's very Jeanette unique. I don't know if you really realize that that's what that's. I don't. I don't. Yeah. For me, it for, for me it that for whole sure emotional is. aspect is one of the big draws to art is that, one, I was never interested in art, whatever. And then in the midst of my depression and whatnot, I had stumbled on an art piece of this girl just basically curled up in a ball with demons at her back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, one, how did they do that? And two, holy shit, that's me. Mm -hmm. You know, that I want to make that connection with someone for them to be able to see that they are not alone someone else has been there someone else has made it past there and if you need a hand here's mine you know girl girl you're you're freaking doing it you're you are doing it no you are and i didn't know that we would be talking about this today i mean i was just you know think walking in thinking we're having a humdrum conversation but you really really are and i think i mean i am for sure affected when i see your art pieces show up um, I'm like, Jeanette's going through some shit, but also I do get the impression because when you show up in the community, you are like a ray of sunshine, you know? So I can, I can tell you're processing, but coming out and then you are coming out and you are like behaving in a way that you wish, want your art to reflect on you. And I think it is, you are doing a smashing job of doing that and making that happen. Oh my goodness. Then you come into the group and you're so supportive and you're so helpful. You know, if someone asks for help and feedback, you are right there to give it. You don't get, you don't give random unsolicited, horrible advice, which is honestly, Jeanette, what most tr like pompous artists love to throw their shit around and it's like stop no one asked you like you know what I mean like stop you never you have never one time done that ever um and I don't could. offer a critique unless the person who's putting down the image is requesting please I need yes. some feedback where yes. can I do this better right not that yes. what they did isn't good enough right absolutely Yes. But if I know I'm, the, I'm the same, right. They see a lack and they want 
to find a way and they don't know what it is. And sometimes being that outside viewer is useful because right. I'm not emotionally invested in whatever's on that paper. Right. And right. that I practically erased the whole through, you know, I mean, we've yeah. all been there. Yeah. Yeah. And I love being able, if I know something to tell somebody else, because learn yeah. teach yes. you know i mean yes i was just going to say know, yeah and you're you know you're a teacher you i mean you are and then your comments and your feedback and your support is helping to further their education and you are teaching them and you are my, you're my little bestie in awesome art school and i just love you so much and i just want to make sure people really understand how what an asset they have in you and um i just like you, knowing crap <laughs> I will go on deep dives constantly on YouTube, on reading books. I literally have four terabytes of art books. You think you're bad, Karen? Get in line. Okay? I just don't have the bookshelf space. So yeah, mine yeah. are all digital. Yeah. But, no, oh that's awesome. God, I, I need to know how and why and what technique. Mm -hmm. And just, okay, maybe I can't observe it all in one go. I can't sometimes. Sometimes you have to step back and process okay. and experiment and then go back and say, oh, get it now. That's how they did that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And then I do the same thing. I've, you know, I've taken a lot of classes and sometimes I think I studied with this woman for like two years. I taught, I took painting with her locally. And I think after the two years, I never understand. I never understood ever what the hell she was talking about for two years, two years. I just sat there and I was like, can she, can she just stop talking and just tell me what to do so I can do it. But my one takeaway is my big one takeaway was if you're if you draw out your design on acrylic paint with a piece of chalk, and then you knew where your outlines were. So even though I had done all these paintings, I just I didn't understand a word she was saying. She it was so highbrow, it was so over my head, the whole thing, the whole entire thing. And I was like, well, you know what? Even if that was my one takeaway, if I can take one thing from one person and put them together, then I'll just be me, right? And that's mm -hmm. why I love and encourage people to also include art that they're creating from other teachers because there are a million people to learn from. And I think everyone should come in and share because when we all take a little piece, we can put them together, we can all be better. You are unique in that. So many other teachers feel, I hate to say that word, but threatened by other people, other artists, work being shown in their group that they it's against the rules you can't even mention yeah. it i love and it you are like no well, show me what the heck you're doing i want to yeah. see show me your work yeah well and also like i admire these teachers and i don't have the time yes. to take their classes anymore so i want to see what they're doing because they're cool <laughs> like oh my god there's really? so many amazing artists that i've gotten to that are actually like Oh my God, these are like really big artists. And I'm friends with some of them and that blows my mind some days. I'm like fangirling so hard, you know? Well, it's and crazy. at the same and like, time, they're real people. Yes. They're such and, real people. And I want them to come in. Like come in. Like it's like the more the merrier. If you're a good yeah. person and you are kind, you are welcome. You are welcome here, period. Yes. Care yes. if you have two minutes experience or two decades of experience, like get your ass over here, you know, and like let's all be friends. So yeah, I love it. I love it. But I love I you love and you. I think you're you're such an asset. And I want to know when are you gonna um teach a classes for us, especially in colored pencils? Because I'm waiting okay. for my class. So I know you are. <laughs> well, um, all right. So my plan is within the next 10 days to drop a either a short or a short video on my YouTube channel, which is Jeanette Salib Artist. And um, that's going to be my first because I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn how to do this. Yeah, and, you are. Um, I've already have a plan for what my first few lessons in colored pencils are because I want to like take some of the classes that you've already taught in Fun Fab Drawing Club. For example, the sphere and the cube and the, mm -hmm. and the cylinder and you know, the value scale, 
teach yeah. these things and how to blend them with the colored pencils with this knowledge they already have for transferring it to a new medium. I cannot wait. They're all those are yours to teach, Jeanette. You can have all of them. Okay. Does that sound like a deal? That sounds like a plan to me, woman. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. You're double hired. <laughs> Honey, okay. you, you're get, the only way you're getting rid of me is if, you know, <laughs> no, it's not happening. You're, you're not I going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you're going anywhere. It's too bad. I'm paying you. And I yeah, definitely I, want you know, those honey, lessons. They're so, I have been so love honored, it. honestly, honored and proud to be a member of this team. There's just a sense of camaraderie and realness and friendship and just that yeah. smile that smile gives me every time you know because you're real you're like to go do this oh no I, I, it's like, oh yeah she's a mom too she gets it you know oh yeah yes totally 100 percent. yeah and i finding think because time for you finding time for yourself as a mom it's like I don't know which end of the candle I'm going to have to burn, but I need to do this or I'm going to be empty and there's going to be no candle left to burn for anyone. And we're all going to be sitting in the dark. Amen, sister. I know it's funny. I was making a, a graphic um, for, I forget what the heck it was for. And I was trying to, I was coming up with reasons like why specifically, especially for women, like where to put art. Cause when you're like a busy mom, again, like being like, oh, I have to draw just sounds insane to the normal mom person, you know, like of all the moms I know and the all like, you know, my, there's a thousand kids in my, um, no, there's 3000 kids in our high school. How many of those moms draw like me, <laughs> you know, like it's just not even a thing. So I feel like I was trying to come up with reasons. Like for me, drawing is like equal to like getting a massage right? Or like getting a mani-pedi or something like those, that time where you have to carve it out, you have to make an appointment, you have to put it in your calendar because you know, at the end of that massage or the end of that mani-pedi, like you're going to feel great. And even though you have no time for it and, and also art is free, like you just need a freaking, the fact that it's actually doesn't cost any money is like a triple bonus. But like, it's the same thing where I feel like for moms, like it's worth scheduling that shit in because once you're, once your hour is over, the result is the same, right? Your blood pressure goes down. Your mind is clear. Like it's, it is a really transformative freaking session. It's, it is like amazing. And I think Jeanette, maybe we need to focus on getting more moms in here because you know, like I said, like I just bumbled into the art world and I feel like you kind of did too with YouTube, but like maybe we need to start reaching out and trying to get more moms in here because it's a fantastic way to feel better. Just simple as that. And like you said, yeah. find joy, but feel better. It's freaking fun. Like, I will, <laughs> what I love about doing art and doing mixed media and stuff like that in particular is that I can start and I can stop. Right. Do you right. know what I mean? Like, yes. I can go throw in a load of laundry. Yes. And I can come and work for half an hour, 45 minutes while that load is in there. Yes. Go put it in the dryer, fold, whatever, come back, yep. and I can still continue, and it's not going anywhere. Yes. It's not True. going anywhere. And I can do I can do it in five and ten minute pieces. I don't have to have six hours to do right. a piece in one go. Right. I don't always have six hours when i do that's a nice day that's such a nice day <laughs> back to back Every massages <laughs> huh? i said back like back to back massages yeah i know because oh it's God. that good who the heck cares i know because it's that good Trip to michael's and art yeah. all day i know that's a better massage for me thank you very much yeah yeah i know and it doesn't have to cost anything i know this that's another thing too it drives me people crazy when people say like, um, you know, they can't, they can't join a club because it's too expensive, but they'll go to Michael's and they'll drop a hundred bucks on art supplies. 
that then they don't but know they how don't to know. use. They're or they're not, or they're either don't know how to, or they're not even using them. And I'm like, what are you? I think your money's better spent paying thirty bucks a month, bucks a month to join the drawing club and learning how to do magic with a single pencil. Like it doesn't yeah. have to cost a lot of money to yeah. get mean, skills. I mean, literally. you really don't. Doesn't need that much money. It's like a you dollar know? plus tax a day. Come yeah. on. Yeah. It's a no-brainer. And you don't need I, any I, I supplies, control. practically. Exactly. You can't even put a dollar in a vending machine and get a... I know. A candy bar anymore. You know what I mean? Or, I know. Or, or a pop. You can't. I it's know. not enough. I know. And My pedicure value, is 35. Oh, I know. The value you give in the clubs is crazy. Because it's, it's a not little only bananas. the fact that you put out new lessons every month. And they're freaking awesome. Yes, I'm they're a little pretty, biased, but I don't. They're pretty fun. Um, they're fun. <laughs> if we're not going to do it if they're not fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No one's going to do it if they're not fun. They're just and fun. you make it fun, and you make us feel like we can get it done. Like, how the yes, heck am I going to do that big thing? And you break it down in manageable chunks that leave you with not only confidence but a great piece. Right, great piece. Yeah. I'm not oh a super goodness. fancy artist. I think that's why people can do it. I'm not doing anything crazy. Really not. It's step by step. It's line by line, period. And it does yeah. not have to break the bank. It really is. It's as simple as that, you know, really, one step you at a time. It, I think if you really wanted to budget, you could keep it to a set of graphite pencils, some fine liners, good paper. Yes, I do Everything agree. else can be crap, but yes. good paper. But and hammer mill. But a hammer mill's great paper and it's 20 bucks for 250. So that yeah. I mean that the lasts you. The Nina cardstock is good too. Yeah, it's good, right? Yes. Yeah. I I, I, I that pick well. that up 250 yeah. sheets for yeah. 1250 at Sam's. Exactly. And it goes through your printer, which is nice as well. Yeah, it goes through copies. my printer. Yep. Yeah. Yay. Oh, yes. I know, right? We're on the same page. I know, I know. So um, well, I am super thrilled to have you, all of your big brains and your big hand skills with color pencils, especially to contribute lessons into any club that you wish. I think that you're an asset and I, you, you're not going anywhere, girlfriend. Um, well, I'm Shane. And, and I can't wait. And happily at that. Consider and I really do. I, I love it. And I really do want to thank you for helping just so many people in the classrooms every single day um, on my behalf and on behalf of the whole school. And I just want everyone to know what, what an asset you are and how much I trust your expertise and your knowledge and your know-how. And I just think you're a fabulous person and I think you're a fantastic artist. And um, I just wanted them to hear it from me. <laughs> from me and also to be you because you don't get on as much so hopefully that will change when you start teaching some classes too so yeah, thank I'm you excited for that because i really feel like 2024 is a lot of big steps that i'm planning and i'm um, determined to make them happen well i, I cannot wait i want to improve my art i want to learn to teach others and i've got a great role model oh. to be you and in how to break things down and really explain things. I mean, well, I think good I, students make good teachers, and I was a good student too, I, like that. When think, and because you understand, good teachers can also make good students. Yes, and being willing to adapt to the style that the student needs is really important as well. Because I know for a fact with uh, two of my kids who have learning disabilities. Mm. Um learning to explain something in a different way makes all the damn difference. Yeah, Figuring out sure. a different technique. Like my right. one son had so much trouble learning to read, like struggle, struggle, struggle. Like the struggle bus ran him over. Like it was in a sec. Oh, I moved. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I found out that if he listened to the audio book, whilst reading, mm -hmm. that was a key for him. And now yeah. this is a kid who goes nowhere without his Kindle. Yeah. He reads every day, everywhere, on the bus. Yeah. Like, just all the time. I'm not yeah, saying yeah. he doesn't game. He games as well. But <laughs> he, he yeah. reads all the time. Right. Right, right. For pleasure. 
not yep. for just homework. And yeah. that's what I wanted them to learn was that love of learning. Yeah, yeah. I'm the, I'm the same. I so am the same. I'm so passionate about it. Absolutely. We could have a whole, I could talk for a whole nother hour just on kids and reading I'm, books. Don't even get me kids started. Kids, I'm reading a good book. Yeah. I, I've converted so many of my kids' friends into readers. Yeah. Oh, that's because amazing. They hated, they hated all the crap that was being taught in school yeah. and dissecting every little bit. I said, you don't like reading because you haven't found a book that you love yet. Oh, or that's why I love Captain talks. Underpants. Oh, yeah. I'm like, let's get the naughtiest. I, can, I I don't Captain care what it is. Was the best. Whatever That's floats it. your boat, whatever yes. floats your boat and lights you up on fire. Yep. Throw me vampires and whatever you need. Here you go. I got it for you. That's so funny that I learned that when my kids, my sister was a reading specialist and I went to her, uh, or she also has three, my brother and my sister both also have three kids. And when I, so I, but I'm the youngest of my siblings. So yeah. I have the kids later. So I was at my sister's house and her kids are litter. I think her oldest was maybe four and two. And I had like a two and a, you know, a, a newborn. And I was like, God, I was in her, I was in her nursery and she had like a thousand books. I'm like, you have a thousand get, like baby books. Like, oh my God. And she was like, well, yeah, like that's like, I'm a reading specialist. And she, and, um, uh, I think she, what I think what did she say to me? She said something like, um, "I don't have. We have a budget for everything. We have a budget for food and toys, but I don't have a budget for books." And I thought that, was- that changed my life. That one sentence: "I don't have a budget for books." So I remember flying home. We had like a Borders really close to us, and that was the start. And thank God it started when it did, because I think my oldest was like two. I just we would go to Barnes and Noble. Now we go to Barnes and Noble. Borders closed by us, and I was so sad. Um, and I, to this day, I do not walk in and out of a bookstore without buying a book for myself or a kid or whoever's with me. I'm like, you have to buy a book. So I would go in. I have three of the biggest voracious readers on the oh planet, and I could walk oh into a classroom, and their like my my their teachers would have them for like a week, and they would be like, "Are is your kid a reader?" And I'll be like, "Oh, huge!" And they're like, "I can tell in five minutes who in the, I can tell in five minutes." of a second grade class, who the kids, who the kids are that readers and who the ones, ones that aren't. I'm like, damn, you know, and they're just reading, they're reading Captain Underpants, like stupid comics and whatever. She's like, it doesn't matter. You can tell like that who, which kids read and which don't. I thought that was fascinating. I but, actually like I said, taught, don't get, don't get me started. because I'm obsessed with books and reading. <laughs> I taught one of my son's reading specialists. That, How to teach. Okay, for the kids who like video, video games. Yeah. That's also a way to get them in because very many are story based. And oh, without the story, sure. you can't progress. Yes. That that's counts right. as reading too. Don't tell them it doesn't. It totally oh, yeah. counts. Oh, you have absolutely. to comprehend, follow directions, plan, figure things out, all of that. Yep. And that all translates later to, to other things. Yeah, but they, I'll top I, you with, as you said, that you can't go into a borders <laughs> without getting a book. Yeah. The only way you could tell me, mom, I can't come right now is mom, please. I just need to finish this chapter. Oh yeah. That's what got you out of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, (laughs) those were the magic words that got you away with waiting five minutes. Yeah. I got to say, I'd be the same. I would be the exact same. That's yeah. so funny. That's so, so funny, Jeanette. What a funny thing so that we funny. have in common. And yeah. as soon as you said, too, like, I'm obsessed with learning, like, I was the same. Like, I was always the kid. I wasn't, like, a straight-A student, but I was the hungriest for all the info in the class, you know? And I worked, hard. I worked hard for every grade, for every A, B, and C. I, but I was front row, hand up, like, such a nerd. And I think that's – maybe that's why we both – uh, like welcomed our into our lives with open arms late is because it was something new to learn, right? It was a, it was uncharted territory. It was a Definitely unconquered frontier. Territory. Yeah, right. It's yes, so much fun yes. though. It's just like pure unadulterated joy and connecting and, and, up and with let's people. Not forget to mention it. the fun of collecting art supplies. It is fun, but it's also fun knowing what the hell you're doing with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, without a doubt. I, I feel just very have them with most of the things yeah. I have, thanks to yes. you in a lot of ways. Well, I'm excited to start my learning journey with you, Jeanette. So thank you so much for I your don't time think I'm today. Ever gonna get you over, I don't think I'm ever going to get you over your um, 
lack mm. of uh, joy with colored pencils and layers, but I will teach you how to cheat them. Oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about Jeans whatever, whatever, whatever gets me there. I I, oh, I just got a stupid call. It like swipes my whole thing. But I have to run because I do have a. I do. Oh, I do have to run. But I do want to thank you for your time and your friendship and your expertise and your generous heart and everything. And I look forward to so many more years of working with you. Oh, and I and can also... even show you my journals next time. Oh, oh, oh my God. Holy crap. Yes, yes, yes. Please. Okay. I will get you one, first of all, one quick one. Yes. Does this look familiar? Uh, that is number one of the 100 Fun Fat Faces Challenge drawing. Yes. Yes, it is, ma'am. Yes, it is. <laughs> and and you're what got me started. And the scribble art that I was oh my... terrified to do because letting I... loose was impossible. I was ter I was so sick that day. And I remember filming that. I can't believe you were on the other end of that camera. And here you are now. All these yeah, years yeah, later. Yeah. That's so yeah. bananas. Can you show us a quick one of your latest ones? Okay, I'll show you the very latest that I started earlier today, but it's not done. <gasps> oh, my God. Punk live, but she's yeah. not finished by a long oh, shot. She's gorgeous. <laughs> she's gorgeous. What mediums are you using? Uh, this is cold erase pencils and fine liners. Shut up right now. It looks like marker. Oh, nope. See, I'm going to need those lessons, Jeanette. Hey, you would like cold erase because there's not so much blending. It's Yeah, I want it's that more class. Like, it's just more like sketching with a pencil. Okay, great. Can we do that one first? Can that be your YouTube video? I, you, you, you can do whatever you want. Uh, uh, <laughs> Make no me problem. that video. No problem. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I can't wait. I started yeah. another one, but it's not done. Oh, my God. Uh, are you freaking I am kidding? I can't, I can't even, I can't, wow. <laughs> that's so good. Um, so um. freaking good. Uh, oh my God. Thank you for remembering Jesus. I would, this is the best part right. right here. Stop it. Look at the sassy face. And then. Yeah. Well, that's what, that was actually from the sassy sketching expressions. I know, oh, but like I don't know if this like is gonna Jeanette. show up. Else I can see them both just like that's absolutely perfect. All right. I can't oh, boy. like your spreads bring me to tears. I like it's so crazy. Jeanette. Is that in frame? Is that in frame? Uh, yes, it's absolutely perfection. One of the other things that's important to me about art is rep representing other body types and other races. Yes. For me, I spent my entire life growing up being chubby and not seeing myself as beautiful. And learning to draw people of various sizes and helping them see that they're beautiful the way they are in whatever body they're in is important to me. Yeah. As well as being able to show people that, you know, it is art is not just for the um w one race it's art yep. made by all races mm -hmm. you know and like i did this one after my sister and each one of those leaves was a memory girl so each of them is different it's just outstanding which is it kind really of crazy is. but i'm it weird really like is. that you're not oh. weird you're amazing you are next level amazing. And I'm so happy to have you in my world. You are what makes it magical. You. Right back at you, girl. Right back mm -hmm. at you. Well, I love you so much. Thank you for taking the time. And I'm only supposed to share this with Mixed Media Society, but I'm going to share it with everyone because you're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh. So get ready. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank Grace you. yourself. Thank you. I I'm love excited. you so much. Thank you. I love Jeanette. you right back. We love you. Big Mwah. kiss. And thanks for <laughs> and thanks for sharing Sean with us last Sunday. Oh, you're welcome. We had a really good time. It was so that was the fun. Best day. So it was, much fun. He's it was a riot. so fun. <laughs> he's he's, a riot. he's 
He's he's funnier than he he didn't get to come out of his shell that much because I was t- talking too much the whole time. But he's yeah. he's cool. He's a cool guy. <laughs> I need to go down there in person and get you both uh, in your cups. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. We're crazy without our cups, girl. <laughs> we don't even need the cups, <laughs> but we'll we'll do that too. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> awesome. Well, Take thanks care. so much. Thank you. And what's cool about this is I can end the stream. So bye. I can end the stream, actually, 